What's up guys, I'm Rustin from RossmarTech.com and this is a vlog style video. Now, I know you guys have probably been wondering what happened to the video where I show you guys how to create a Raspberry Pi Game Boy or Game Boy Emulator or Pi Boy for short. Now, I haven't forgot about the video. I started doing the video, but I ran into some problems when it came to the controller. I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. I'm just gonna flip this camera over right now so you guys can see. All right guys, so this is the Pi Boy itself right here. Starting from the top, I have Let's just flip this around. This is a 2.8 inch 320 by 240 touchscreen for the Raspberry Pi. This is from Adafruit's company. Now, it's pretty cool. It's easy to install. I'll show you how it's installed on the back here. From the back, it connects to a Raspberry Pi B model, by the way, through its GPIO pins. And uh, it's pretty cool. Now, I'm gonna show you how this is getting power. Now, it's getting power from this 2,200 milliamp hour battery. Now, this connects to this unit here, which connects to this PowerBoost 500, right? And this PowerBoost 500, there are two uh, cables that connect to a ribbon that connects to the screen here. This screen has a, a Raspberry Pi ribbon connected to it with a bunch of cables. I sliced up the cables and uh, there are two, one for ground and one for power. They connect right there. Let's see if I can show you, give you, it's right there. These two connect to this. This cable connects to the battery. This connects to this part here. And I also have a switch connecting to the Power Boost 500. This switch is here. Now, if I turn on the switch, it turns it on. And uh, again, it's powered by the 2,200 milliamp hour battery here. And again, the switch is connected through here somewhere. It's pretty simple to do. I'm not going to show you exactly how it's done. Now, there are a lot of tutorials that give you step-by-step -step instructions and where to solder, which cable to solder. But I just wanted to give you a little bit of overview of what I've been doing. Now, as you can see, it's starting right now. And I had to do some coding to get it to the right orientation. In the beginning, it was like this. And uh, it, it, it wasn't cool. So I just found some code that uh, changes the orientation of the display so it's the right orientation now as you can see this is the emulator i loaded onto the sd card here and i got a few roms there i got this mario world rom and right now i'm using this uh, wireless keyboard it's a mini wireless keyboard and mouse combo pretty cool and uh, it's pretty small as you can see and it connects through usb right there this is the actual uh module that receives the signal i guess and I can use it from there. So I'm gonna hit enter here and it's gonna start the game. Right now I don't have the controller connected so I won't be able to play the game. As you can see, it's starting Mario right now, Mario Brothers or NES. Or NES. Now the rest of the cables were supposed to connect to uh, a controller but I was running into some problems so I'm gonna order another controller and redo it again. So now this is just the first part to show you guys what I've been working on. As you can see, this is the 3D printed case. I don't have a 3D printer right now I will be getting one within the next week. I will be getting a Robo uh, 3D printer version one. As you can see, this is again the 3D case. I brought this online, but I will be getting a 3D printer and I will be able to print most of my stuff at home. Now these are the tools I'm using. Well, not this one again, this is just a bottle of water. Now this is my soldering station. I don't know how to pronounce that, but it's Hakko or Hakio. This is an awesome one. I think this was a hundred bucks, but it's an awesome, awesome soldering station. I highly recommend it. Links will be in the description. I got here a precision screwdriver set. I got here this little uh, table vise. I love this. This was probably like six bucks. I'm gonna leave a link to this one also in the description. I got here my wire stripper. This is a awesome one. You just put the wire in here and it'll just strip it really fast. This is my third helping hand. This was probably like six bucks. I'm gonna leave a link to this one in the description. What else do I got here? Uh, this is just a standard tweezers. You need some awesome tweezers. And you can pretty much use any tweezer, whichever one you like or comfortable with, you should choose. This here is the soldering wick, wick here for the soldering iron. When you want to get rid of solder, you use this here. It's made of uh, threaded copper, by the way. I just have this stand here for the iPhone. I wasn't going to use it. My camera, again, some more water. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, stay tuned for part two where I actually finish this project and uh, if you guys like this video Please give me a like if you guys want more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel I'm Rasim from RossMartech.com and thanks for watching